Hello, and a very warm welcome to Shortest Path Training's Tips and Tricks session, which accompanies our newsletter, Edition 8. If you find our videos useful, do follow our new LinkedIn page here. This will give you access to even more regular tips and updates. You'll also be informed about which events, conferences and workshops we are attending, so you can witness live demonstrations, training sessions and can speak to us in person. Let's begin the session. We're going to explore the different options to display date and time in Analyst Notebook. Dates and times can be stored on entities and links in several different ways, including attributes. However, for Analyst Notebook to sequence them, the date and time is best entered into the item properties date and time. Set the order and control of date and time to controlling if you want items containing date and time to be positioned in sequential order. You can control if these display on the chart by going to Style and Display. This is easiest using the Style tab in version 9. Here's a chart showing date and time for both icon event frame and on a link. You can choose how the date and time display. The most common example is when you have a date but no time. You may find the item looks like this with a W where the time usually goes. Go to the items properties, under style and display, you have the option to adjust the displayed date and time format. I'm going to change it from system date and time to system date. There are plenty of options for different displays. For example, or and there's even an option to display approximations. Finally, should you need to, you can make up your own formatting. Right mouse click on the chart background and choose Edit Chart Properties. Go to Definitions, Date and Time Formats. Create your own by selecting New, using the predefined ones as a guide. We hope that was useful. If you use iBase, do take a look at part two of this session, which focuses on related item searches using Search 360. Search 360 is an optional function that can be set up for your database, providing it's an SQL server database. You'll know if you have it enabled, you will see it up here. Search 360 has a number of key features, including Search different fields across different entity and link types at the same time. Search for spelling variations, similar sounding words and synonyms. Search through embedded documents. And it can also search for related items, which is today's tip. This includes an entity and what it is linked to. As an example, 
If we were to use Search360 to find Mike, then we are likely to get lots of results. Probably too many. Let's take a look. If we have some additional information, then we can use that to narrow the search. Let's say we have information that suggests Mike has a connection to Smith. We can use the plus related items to narrow the search. When you select the plus sign, it will bring down an extra field for you to type your search criteria in. Next, it's important to remember to press the add button. The search term is then pushed up into the first search field and is separated by a semicolon. Alternatively, as a shortcut, instead of clicking on the plus, you can key in the search using a semicolon. For example, The semicolon means the words that follow can be on a linked item rather than having to be on the same item. Our search has resulted in one person being found, Michael Hadley. Underneath in blue, there is a description stating one linked result has also been found. As I click on the plus sign here, we can see it has found the word Smith contained in another linked record. Here are some other example searches and results using the related items option. Mike Hadley, semicolon Smith. Mike, semicolon Hadley, semicolon Smith. The words entered before the first semicolon will be the main result listed. In this case, Mike is the main word, and therefore Hadley Smith will be found providing they are directly linked to the word Mike. Therefore, the order of words you search on using the related item option can affect the results you find. Thank you for watching. If we can help to provide you with any more information, including copies of our newsletter, do get in touch. See you soon.